Okay, YouTube. So, let's just put it this way. I'm a, I've been procrastinating on specific projects. What we have here is how to make a homemade Chevet remote for the Fogger. Um, considering they all work the same, I'm assuming. Um, I went on the internet, I found out that, uh, I found a schematic diagram for this, so. This is an old Fogger that we have, and I just didn't want to spend $30 for a remote. And at the same time, I just was procrastinating on buying it. So what I did is I had one of these little modules lying around. Now this thing's actually better in the sense. So, you get this on Amazon. Um, it requires a 12 volt power supply, which I got a dozen of. And the way I have this thing set up is all it's doing is I used this cord, which actually plugs in there. It's from a off-brand remote that, of a fogger that we had. And um, I just ohmed out which pins I need. So the way I have this fogger set up is 40 seconds, and then it turns on for 20 seconds. And then after 20 seconds, it will shut off and then wait 40 seconds. Now, obviously, this timer is like, you can do anything with this thing. So, I mean, as you can see, the fogger is just going. It's doing its thing. And then two, one, and off. And now it's got 40 seconds to go. The timer is a little tricky. I mean, on Amazon, you have to read the commentary. Someone has it in their Dropbox for the manual, and you just have to figure out how it works. And so, basically... I'm going to try this over the week and hopefully it works, but this thing's producing a good amount of fog, so I'm assuming it's going to work. And hopefully I can uh, manage to not run out by the end of the night. But yeah, so it's just a homemade timer with a bunch of hot glue, uh, just because I figure it might get wet a little bit, you know, so I hot glued every single thing. Over here, you got your 12 volts, and then this wire, all I did, it's in this case it was the blue and green wire which I don't know, I'll unplug it. So basically, the two middle pins, if that makes sense. To you. It's five pins there, as you can see. Not the middle pin. Actually, I think it should even say inside. I don't know, there's not enough lighting for me to tell you exactly what pin numbers. But basically, and my thumb's going to be too fat. So the two outside pins from this view, not the middle pin. You just need to short those, basically. Or, and you know what, just to show you which pins I'm actually talking about. Hold on one second. Oh, let me get a paper clip. So, I know, blackout, hold on. So, paper clip. Unfortunately, let's see, it's just these two pins that you're looking at which turn the fogger on. Wireless or manual does not matter, it's the same controller. So there you go. And then yeah, I mean, seems to be working fine. I, I mean, judging by how much fog it's putting, I'm probably gonna have to out, put it lower, but yeah, this timer actually has a ton of functions and then you can even put something on that line on the normally closed part um, to activate another fogger if you want to do two foggers. So one fogger goes on, one fogger goes off. Uh, it's quite, ver it's very versatile, it really is. So I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, if, you know, you're in a bind and, you know, you you don't, I mean, want to spend $30. This, this board was like, what, 10, 15 bucks. And then you probably have a 12 volt supply laying around the house or the, the shop or whatever. So, and yeah, it seems to be working fine.